Jennifer Lopez, affectionately known as J-Lo, has been in the headlines a lot recently, particularly with the recent arrest of Sean Diddy Combs. This situation has many people wondering will j Law's past relationship with Combs influence the ongoing criminal case against him? Their history is quite significant, as they were once a high-profile couple in the entertainment industry. To understand the potential impact of J-Lo on Combs' case, we will explore their shared history, the connections they maintained, and how this could affect the legal proceedings. Former prosecutor Ava Sullivan will help us dissect this complicated dynamic and provide insight into whether J-Lo might be called as a witness, or if her name could come up in the discussions surrounding the case. Given j Law's influence in Hollywood and her established career, her involvement could potentially sway public opinion or even impact the legal strategies employed by both sides. Nearly a decade ago, Jennifer Lopez's mother, Guadalupe, was already sounding the alarm about Sean Diddy Combs. She had serious concerns about his influence and the potential impact he could have on J-Lo's life and career. Guadalupe's warnings seem prescient now, especially with the recent developments surrounding Diddy and his ongoing legal troubles. In a surprising twist, former record executive Suge Knight has suggested that J-Lo's relationship with actor Ben Affleck faced significant challenges due to Lopez's alleged appearance in controversial tapes. These tapes were reportedly seized by the FBI during a raid on Diddy's properties, raising serious questions about their content and implications. Sue J. Knight has claimed that these tapes might have been shared with Affleck, possibly revealing J. Law's involvement in activities that could be viewed unfavorably. As the Diddy case progresses, it has captured the attention of the media and the public with many wondering how this will affect Lopez, Affleck, and their careers. The implications of these developments are enormous, not only for Diddy, but also for the people in his orbit, especially J. Lo, who has worked tirelessly to maintain her positive image in Hollywood. As the legal proceedings unfold, everyone is watching closely, eager to see how these revelations might influence the narrative surrounding J. Lo and her past relationship with Diddy. It's intriguing to note that, unlike many other high-profile figures who have distanced themselves from Sean Diddy Combs amid his legal troubles, Jennifer Lopez has chosen to stay mostly silent. This quietness has sparked a lot of speculation about what she knows regarding the situation and whether she is trying to steer clear of being pulled into the legal drama surrounding Diddy. In Hollywood, relationships can be incredibly complicated and the intertwining lives of Lopez, Diddy, and Ben Affleck are prime examples of this complexity. Their relationships have been under the spotlight for years, filled with ups and downs, high-profile romances, breakups, and various scandals that keep fans and the media buzzing. The fact that J-Lo remains silent makes people wonder if she is protecting her image or if she has information that could be significant to the ongoing case against Diddy. With such a history between them, the dynamics of their past and present relationships only add to the intrigue. It's now official Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck have ended their second attempt at love, and fans are buzzing about the details of their split. The singer, known as J-Lo, filed for divorce from the actor on August 20th, after spending more than two years married. In the court documents obtained by various media outlets, J-Lo revealed that the couple actually separated almost four months earlier, on April 26th. Adding to the intrigue, just 10 days after their separation date, Jennifer made a solo appearance at the 2024 Met Gala, which raised eyebrows and sparked speculation about the state of her marriage. Her appearance alone made headlines, leading many to wonder if there were deeper issues between her and Ben. During that time, Ben's representative indicated that he was in Los Angeles, working on the film The Accountant 2, which may have contributed to the distance between them. In her divorce documents, Jennifer Lopez, or J. Lo, has requested that the court deny spousal support for both herself and Ben Affleck. This is an interesting move, especially considering their high-profile relationship and the financial resources both stars possessed.
According to TMZ, a source close to Jennifer informed NBC News that the couple did not have a prenuptial agreement, which means they may not have outlined how to handle their finances before getting married. One intriguing aspect of Jay Law's decision to file for divorce is the timing. She officially filed on August 20th, which just so happens to be the couple's two-year wedding anniversary. It seems she may have waited for this significant date, perhaps hoping that the anniversary would provide closure to their relationship. In this video, we are going to take a closer look at the complicated relationships involving Jennifer Lopez, Sean Diddy Combs, and Ben Affleck. These three celebrities have had a long history together, filled with ups and downs that have played out in the public eye. Well, explore the high-profile romances they've had, from Jay Law's early relationship with Diddy to her rekindled romance with Affleck. Each of their past interactions has shaped their lives and careers in significant ways, often influencing how they are perceived today. Additionally, we will discuss the ongoing legal challenges surrounding Diddy, which have put both him and J-Lo back in the news. The legal issues have stirred up old memories and raised questions about their past connections. With so much history and drama involved, this deep dive will shed light on the complex web of relationships that continue to captivate fans and the media alike. So, join us as we unravel the fascinating stories behind J-Lo, Diddy, and Affleck, and see how their intertwined paths remain relevant in today's entertainment landscape. To understand the complexities of Jennifer Lopez and Sean Diddy Combs' relationship, we need to take a trip back to the late 1990s when their romance first began. At that time, J-Lo, often referred to as Jenny from the block, was rapidly rising in the music and film industries, capturing the public's attention. This nickname might hint at her roots and her connection to the streets of the Bronx, but it's also a nod to her humble beginnings. Their relationship became infamous after a shocking incident involving a nightclub shooting that involved Diddy and his friend, Shine. Amidst all this chaos, Jaguar Wright, a fellow artist, has shared her perspective on how J-Lo has often tried to distance herself from such dramatic events. It seems that J-Lo's former manager, Benny Medina, played a key role in this narrative by helping her transition away from Diddy to pursue new opportunities with other artists. Jennifer Lopez and Sean Diddy Combs' romance kicked off after she filmed the music video for her hit single, If You Had My Love. This collaboration sparked a connection that quickly blossomed into one of Hollywood's most captivating relationships. As they started dating, J-Lo and Diddy became a media sensation, with their every move documented by paparazzi. They attended numerous red carpet events, glamorous parties, and even some high-profile outings together, making them the talk of the town. During this whirlwind romance, the couple was often seen as inseparable drawing attention not just for their love, but also for their impact on fashion and pop culture. They set trends with their bold styles and appeared to be the perfect pair in the eyes of the public. However, their relationship was not without controversy. At the time they began dating, Diddy was still involved with model Kim Porter. In fact, Kim discovered that Diddy was seeing J-Lo through social media, which undoubtedly added to the drama surrounding their relationship. Jennifer Lopez made it clear that she was firmly supporting Sean Diddy Combs during a challenging time in his life. In multiple statements to the press, she expressed her unwavering loyalty to him. One notable statement highlighted her defense of Diddy, where she asserted, I was with Puffy all night and he didn't have a gun. Jennifer openly expressed her love for Diddy, emphasizing, Look, you know I love Sean. I'm going to be with him. This showed not only her commitment, but also her willingness to stand by him through thick and thin, regardless of the public scrutiny they faced. Their relationship had its ups and downs, but Jennifer remained resolute in her feelings, stating, I want to be with him forever. Many fans remember the powerful movie Enough, where Jennifer Lopez portrayed a domestic violence DV victim who learns to fight back against her abusive husband. Interestingly, there are rumors suggesting that this film was inspired by J. Law's tumultuous relationship with Sean Diddy Combs. The timeline surrounding this film is particularly noteworthy. Jennifer accepted the role in Enough 
shortly after she ended her relationship with Diddy in February 2001. While the movie presents a story of resilience and empowerment, it's essential to recognize that beneath J.Lo's glamorous public persona, there were significant challenges in her personal life. Their relationship had its ups and downs, marked by public displays of affection, but also shadowed by rumors and controversies. It's not uncommon for artists to draw on their life experiences when taking on roles. And J.Lo's decision to play a character who overcomes adversity may have reflected her own journey. One of the most infamous moments in Jennifer Lopez and Sean Diddy Combs' relationship occurred in December 1999, when they were involved in a nightclub shooting in New York City. This incident happened after an altercation at a popular club, which escalated into gunfire that injured three people. After the shooting, Diddy, Lopez, and his bodyguard quickly fled the scene in a car, sparking a dramatic high-speed chase with the police. This incident not only intensified media scrutiny on their relationship, but also placed J.Lo at the center of a legal storm. While they tried to escape the immediate danger, the aftermath of the shooting would follow them for years, impacting their public image and personal lives. On the early morning of December 27, 1999, a shocking incident unfolded in Manhattan, New York, involving Sean Diddy Combs and a man named Matthew Scar Allen. This confrontation escalated into gunfire, sparking chaos in the nightclub where it occurred. During this incident, rapper Shine, who was signed to Diddy's Bad Boy Records, was arrested, while Diddy and his then-girlfriend, Jennifer Lopez, attempted to escape to another club. However, their efforts were thwarted when police intercepted them, leading to their arrest. Lopez spent approximately 14 hours in custody before being released, and thankfully, she was never charged with any wrongdoing in connection with the incident. Diddy and his bodyguard, Anthony Jones, were ultimately acquitted of weapons charges, allowing them to avoid legal repercussions. Meanwhile, Shine faced a different fate. He was convicted of assault and gun possession, receiving a significant sentence of 10 years in prison. One of the most compelling and controversial aspects of the nightclub shooting incident in 1999 involves a victim named Natana Rubin. Over the years, Rubin has consistently maintained that it was Sean Diddy Combs, not Shine, who shot her in the face that night. Her unwavering testimony has raised significant questions about accountability in this high-profile case. For years, she has adamantly insisted that Shine was wrongly blamed for the crime, claiming that Diddy was the one who actually fired the weapon. Rubin has shared her experience multiple times, stating, I said it immediately. I literally watched them pull out the guns. For God's sake, I got shot in my nose. I was facing them directly. I watched everything occur and have described it to all parties involved. Her vivid recollection of the events has fueled ongoing discussions about the incident and the implications for those involved. As an entertainment expert, it is important to consider the impact of such claims on public perception. When the infamous nightclub shooting occurred, Lopez was detained for approximately 12 hours, but ultimately faced no charges. This lack of legal consequences for her raised eyebrows, especially given that Diddy was not as fortunate. He encountered serious legal issues, being accused of possessing a stolen firearm and allegedly trying to bribe his driver into taking the fall for him. As the case unfolded, it became a media sensation, capturing the attention of the public and the press alike. The courtroom drama that followed turned into a spectacle, illustrating how celebrity trials often draw significant media coverage and public scrutiny. The details of the trial were broadcast widely, making it not just a legal matter, but also a topic of conversation across various media platforms. Nearly 10 years ago, Jennifer Lopez's mother, Guadalupe, expressed serious concerns about Sean Diddy Combs, making it clear that she was not a fan of the relationship. This maternal instinct to protect her daughter has proven prescient, especially given the recent developments surrounding Diddy, who was arrested on September 17th. In light of this event, an old clip from Lopez's 2015 appearance on The Wendy Williams Show has resurfaced, reminding fans of the complexities surrounding J-Lo and Diddy's relationship. 
During the show, Wendy Williams playfully suggested that Lopez might rekindle her romance with Diddy, a thought that clearly didn't sit well with either Lopez or her mother. In the clip, Lopez laughed off the suggestion and pointed to her mother, who was in the audience. Guadalupe immediately dismissed the idea with a hand motion, clearly signaling that she wanted nothing to do with Diddy and firmly stated, it's done. This moment received mixed reactions from the audience, illustrating just how divided opinions can be on celebrity relationships. However, Lopez took the opportunity to firmly reiterate her position, declaring, no, Puffy. In December 1999, Jennifer Lopez found herself in a dangerous situation when she was with Sean Diddy Combs during a nightclub shooting in New York City. The incident led to their arrest, which was a major shock for both Lopez and her family. At the police station, Lopez's mother, Guadalupe, expressed her anger and concern by scolding her daughter in Spanish, saying, I told you not to get involved with him. This moment highlighted the protective instincts of a mother who feared for her daughter's safety and reputation. After spending 14 hours in jail, Lopez was released without facing any charges, but the incident cast a long shadow over their relationship. Despite the tumultuous circumstances, Lopez and Diddy continued their romance for a while longer. However, by 2001, the couple's relationship began to unravel. Lopez later revealed that Diddy had been unfaithful during their time together, which added significant strain to their bond. Although she remained publicly supportive of him for some time, the cracks in their relationship were becoming more apparent. Ultimately, they decided to part ways in early 2001, marking the end of a highly publicized chapter in both of their lives. Years later, Lopez would reflect on her time with Diddy acknowledging that his chaotic lifestyle and infidelity were major factors in their breakup. The ongoing situation surrounding Sean Diddy Combs has captured everyone's attention, and even casual observers are aware of the recent raid connected to him. For Jennifer Lopez, reopening that chapter of her life might not be something she wants to do, especially since there are reports suggesting she could be implicated in some of the federal investigations currently underway. Diddy seems to be gearing up to reveal some major secrets, which could affect those close to him. Lopez and Diddy had a tumultuous relationship from 1999 to 2001, during which they faced significant challenges, including legal issues that arose during their time together. The connection between the two was not just romantic, it was fraught with drama and scrutiny that put Lopez in difficult positions. Recently, she finally opened up about her experience with Diddy, reflecting on their breakup as one of the toughest moments in her life. In a candid interview, Lopez shared her feelings, saying, It was just one of those breakups that was really tough for me. Bye-bye, boy. This statement hints at the emotional turmoil she went through during and after their relationship. Reports suggest that the stress of her relationship with Diddy was so intense that it even led to her having a nervous breakdown. In the same interview, she recounted a moment of deep distress, saying, I was like, I don't want to move, I don't want to. This vulnerability reveals just how challenging it can be to navigate love and fame simultaneously. The 1999 nightclub shooting involving Jennifer Lopez and Diddy is often viewed as one of the darkest moments in their tumultuous relationship, but its repercussions have continued to reverberate even years later. Fast forward to 2024, and the shooting has resurfaced in a civil lawsuit filed by Rodney Little Rod Jones, a former producer who worked closely with Diddy. In this lawsuit, Jones makes some shocking claims, alleging that Diddy once bragged about the shooting suggesting that Lopez was more involved than previously thought. He even claimed that she helped by carrying the gun into the club that night. While these allegations remain unproven and are steeped in controversy, they have undoubtedly reignited public interest in that fateful night and the dynamics of Lopez and Diddy's relationship. For many, this incident serves as a reminder of the chaotic environment surrounding them at the time showcasing how fame can come with serious risks and consequences. Jennifer Lopez vividly remembers a tense moment when she overheard a woman yelling, realizing it was her, J. Lo, 
in a highly charged situation. In her recollection, she confronted Sean Combs, known as Diddy, with an outburst filled with frustration. Sean, what the hell? Her tone reflected the urgency and concern of the moment. In response, Diddy remained remarkably calm, telling her, Relax, baby. What the heck did you have to start shooting isn't that why we have bodyguards for Lopez? Passionate reaction highlights her protective instincts, while Diddy's composed demeanor demonstrates his attempts to defuse the situation. In situations like this, I usually choose to stay quiet and just listen to what others have to say. I find that it's best to play my position and observe the unfolding events around me. However, I must admit that I haven't been paying much attention to the news lately, particularly over the past day or so. Shortly after Jennifer Lopez ended her relationship with Diddy, she found love again with actor and director Ben Affleck. This new romance quickly caught the public's eye and was famously nicknamed Benifer by the media. Their relationship became one of the most talked about celebrity pairings of the early 2000s, generating headlines and capturing the attention of fans worldwide. Lopez and Affleck first crossed paths while filming the romantic comedy Giggly, which marked the beginning of their whirlwind romance. Almost instantly, they became a tabloid sensation, with photographers following their every move. The fascination with Benefer stemmed from their glamorous lifestyles and high-profile careers, making them a perfect match for the celebrity spotlight. They were often seen at red carpet events, enjoying each other's company, and radiating a sense of joy that resonated with fans. Their relationship also sparked a mix of excitement and skepticism among observers, as many wondered if this romance could withstand the pressures of fame and public scrutiny. In her latest documentary, The Greatest Love Story Never Told, now available for streaming on Prime Video, Jennifer Lopez opens up about her personal journey and the complexities of love. She shares her thoughts on the beauty and depth of her experiences, saying, I did really find the beauty in the poetry and the irony in the fact that it's the greatest love story never told. Lopez goes on to explain that creating a record about these experiences feels like a way of narrating her own love story allowing her to express herself authentically. By sharing her thoughts and feelings, she transforms her past into something meaningful, inviting viewers to see the irony in how deeply personal experiences can often go unnoticed by the public. Jennifer Lopez shared an interesting insight about her collaboration with Ben Affleck, saying, It's so funny, because we collaborate very well together, you know, and nobody knows my story. However, during this period, there were also rumors that stirred up some controversy. One particularly troubling rumor suggested that Diddy had shown private videos of Lopez at his parties, which understandably made Affleck feel uncomfortable. While it's unclear whether this rumor is true, it certainly added fuel to the fire regarding the dynamics between these three high-profile figures. The speculation around Affleck's reaction indicates that he may have wanted to distance himself from Diddy's controversial reputation and lifestyle, which had been marked by several scandals over the years. Former record executive Sue Gay Knight has made some startling claims regarding the end of Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck's marriage. He suggested that their divorce may have been influenced by Lopez's involvement in tapes that the FBI seized during a raid on Diddy. According to Knight, these tapes allegedly contain information that could implicate Lopez in activities that might raise eyebrows. In response to the situation, Lopez and her management team reportedly became very cautious. They were said to be on high alert, engaging in crisis talks to prepare for any fallout that might arise from the ongoing criminal investigations surrounding Diddy. In my opinion, it's unlikely that Jennifer Lopez will face any legal implications regarding the current controversies surrounding Diddy. When we look back at the events of 1999, particularly the nightclub shooting incident, it's clear that Lopez was very much involved in that chaotic situation. She was even photographed for a mugshot during the aftermath, which could have raised significant legal issues at the time. However, she managed to walk away from those events without facing any charges. Given how things unfolded back then, 
it seems that authorities did not find sufficient evidence to hold her accountable. This history suggests that if there were any real concerns about her involvement in questionable activities now, those issues would likely have come to light during that earlier incident. Since she was directly in the spotlight during a time when the stakes were high and the scrutiny was intense, it seems less probable that new allegations would suddenly emerge to implicate her now. In this video episode, Suge Knight discusses how Ben Affleck was informed about potential issues related to Jennifer Lopez. Knight suggests that Affleck is a respected figure in the entertainment industry, which means he has strong connections and a reliable team around him. Because of this status, it's likely that he received a heads-up regarding certain private tapes that may feature Lopez. Knight implies that someone within the industry felt it was important to alert Affleck, saying something along the lines of, hey, your wife might be involved in these tapes, which indicates that the situation could be sensitive. Given Affleck's background and the scrutiny that comes with being a high-profile celebrity, it's understandable that he would want to be aware of anything that could affect his relationship with Lopez. As we move into 2023, Sean Diddy Combs is back in the news, but not for his usual music hits or successful business endeavors. In December of that year, Diddy was arrested on serious federal charges, including racketeering, sex trafficking, and coercion. These allegations are quite troubling, painting a dark picture of a criminal operation that supposedly has been ongoing for many years. Reports suggest that this alleged enterprise involved the exploitation of women and a range of other severe criminal activities, raising serious concerns about his conduct. Sean Diddy Combs, the renowned music mogul, is currently facing serious federal charges, including racketeering conspiracy and sex trafficking. This shocking development marks a significant moment in his career, as it follows a lengthy decline from his once glamorous status in the entertainment world. ABC's Morgan Norwood has been covering this unfolding story, shedding light on the events that led to Diddy's current legal troubles. It's essential to understand how a figure who was once celebrated as a successful artist and entrepreneur has come to face such severe allegations. Over the years, Diddy has built an empire in the music industry, but he has also been involved in various controversies that have raised eyebrows. His recent arrest signifies not just a personal crisis, but also highlights broader issues within the entertainment industry regarding accountability and the treatment of women. Sean Diddy Combs has experienced a remarkable and troubling fall from grace, beginning with a lawsuit filed by his former girlfriend, Cassie Ventura. In her claims, she alleged that Diddy had subjected her to years of abuse, which shocked fans and followers alike. Since then, Diddy has found himself at the center of numerous lawsuits, as well as federal raids that have raised serious questions about his conduct over the years. As investigations progressed, a sweeping indictment against him became inevitable. The authorities are now focused on swiftly identifying and closing in on his alleged co-conspirators, who reportedly played a role in sustaining what is being described as a criminal enterprise. These individuals have remained silent for years, but their silence may no longer protect them. The question who's the boss seems to resonate with many as Sean Diddy Combs faces serious legal challenges ahead. Despite his flashy lifestyle and status in the entertainment world, it's clear that this morning marks a significant moment in his ongoing sex trafficking case. Today, the lawyers representing Combs and the prosecutors will meet in a status conference. This meeting is crucial as it aims to outline the next steps in this troubling legal battle. The sweeping indictment against Diddy includes alarming allegations that he used his vast business empire, influence, and high-profile status to exploit and abuse his alleged victims. The recent charges against Sean Diddy Combs have sent shockwaves throughout the entire entertainment industry, raising serious questions about the extent of his alleged illegal activities. Many people are now wondering who knew what and how far reaching Diddy's network of wrongdoing might actually be. Reports indicate that federal investigators have already interviewed over 50 witnesses, which shows just how serious and comprehensive this investigation is. 
It's clear that this case will likely touch on the involvement of some of Diddy's closest associates, leading to speculation about what they might reveal. There's been a lot of attention lately on the celebrities who have chosen to stay silent amid the ongoing controversy surrounding Diddy. It's interesting to look at figures like Usher, who had a long history with Diddy, starting from his early days when he was just one year old and later as an adult artist. Recently, Usher made headlines by wiping his Twitter X profile clean, which has raised eyebrows. He was mentioned in one of the sexual assault lawsuits connected to Diddy, where it was alleged that he had sexual interactions with the music mogul. Usher's past experiences were once brought into the spotlight during an interview with Howard Stern, where Stern questioned him about his presence at some of Diddy's infamous wild parties, even pointing out that Usher was just 13 at the time. Reflecting on my experiences in the celebrity world, I can say it was quite an eye-opener. When I first ventured into this glamorous lifestyle, I was eager to see what it was all about. What I discovered was nothing short of wild and extravagant, yet I found myself questioning if I could truly immerse myself in it or even grasp what I was witnessing. I remember thinking, wow, this is incredible, but at the same time, I felt like an outsider looking in. It was as if there were many curious happenings around me, but I didn't quite have the context to understand everything that was unfolding. While no one approached me directly to explain things, it was clear that the lifestyle had its own set of unspoken rules and complexities. Today, there's another name in the spotlight related to the ongoing Diddy situation, and that name is Justin Bieber. The young pop star first met Diddy when he was just 15 years old, and their paths have crossed several times since then. Given the serious nature of the allegations surrounding Diddy, many people are starting to wonder if Bieber might be involved in any way or even if he could be a victim of Diddy's alleged actions. Despite the swirling rumors and speculation, Justin Bieber has chosen to remain silent on the matter. People are curious about what he knows and why he hasn't spoken out, especially since the entertainment world often expects celebrities to address controversies head on. Given Jennifer Lopez's past relationship with Diddy, it's no surprise that her name is popping up in conversations about his current legal troubles. Although Lopez has not been specifically mentioned in the federal indictment against Diddy, her connection to him during a time when he is accused of engaging in criminal activities makes her a person of interest. People are wondering if she could potentially be called as a witness in the case, considering the duration and intensity of their relationship. Many are curious about whether she might have had any knowledge of the alleged illegal actions or if she has details that could shed light on Diddy's behavior during their time together. The fact that she hasn't publicly commented on the matter has only fueled speculation. Jennifer Lopez's life has often been in the spotlight, especially following her marriage to Ben Affleck, an Oscar-winning actor. Many fans believe that this relationship has shifted public perception of her, allowing them to forget some of the more troubling moments from her past including her involvement in the infamous 1999 shooting incident. On that night, Lopez was found with gunshot residue on her hands, and she had a gun in her purse when the chaos erupted at the club. This connection to a violent crime has been overshadowed by her successful career and personal life. However, there are lingering questions about the victim of that shooting, a woman named Natana, who suffered greatly. Despite the serious nature of these allegations, Lopez has remained mostly silent regarding Natana and the repercussions she faced. Observers are concerned that Lopez hasn't spoken out in support of Natana, especially as she navigates the ongoing controversy surrounding her ex, Sean Diddy Combs. It's also important to note that Natana still carries the physical and emotional scars from that traumatic night, with bullet fragments remaining in her face. Many people believe that Jennifer Lopez's marriage to Ben Affleck would help her distance herself from the controversies surrounding Sean Diddy Combs, but that hasn't turned out to be the case. In fact, former prosecutor Ava Sullivan points out that this situation could lead to what we call guilt by association. For someone like Jennifer Lopez, 
who has dedicated a lot of time and effort to create a strong and positive public image, choosing to stay silent about the ongoing issues surrounding Sean Diddy Combs could be a smart decision. By not speaking out, she might be trying to protect herself from any potential backlash or controversy that could arise from being associated with his current legal troubles. Lopez understands that anything she says or does could be scrutinized, especially given her history with Diddy. By remaining quiet, she can avoid adding fuel to the fire or creating more speculation about her involvement or knowledge of Diddy's alleged activities. Thank you so much for watching our video. We really appreciate your support and hope you found the content as intriguing as we did. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on all the latest news and juicy insights from the entertainment world, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Your subscription helps us continue bringing you exciting content, and we'd love to have you as part of our community. Thanks again, and well, see you in the next video.